I'm Troy Beverly, and this is Pan-African News. Chad. Chad, UAE, Israel, France, supply weapons used in genocide in Sudan. South African political analyst Bayete Simang recently published an article implicating Chadian President Mohamed Debi Idno with Israel, the UAE, and France in the shipment of illegal arms to the Rapid Support Forces, RSF, in Sudan, who have committed genocide against the Masulid people in West Darfur State during the civil war between the RSF and the Sudanese Armed Forces, SAF. More details about arms trafficking to the RSF through the Sudan-Chad border have come to light since part of the RSF command defected to the SAF. The UAE is the primary supplier of weapons to the RSF. The French military base in Abeche, Chad provides logistics for the military equipment the UAE supplies to the RSF. Convoys transport the military aid to Darfur, Sudan via the Adre border crossing. Earlier this month, armored vehicles manufactured in the United Arab Emirates, equipped with a cutting-edge French manufactured defense system, were observed in various parts of Sudan. According to Military Africa, in 2023, Israel made LAR-160 light artillery rockets and the Israeli-made Galil ACE-31 rifle were being fielded by the RSF in Sudan. Editor-in-chief of the Sudanese newspaper Brown Land, Mohamed Saeed Kamel, maintains that Debbie Itno sends thousands of young Arabs in Chad to fight in Sudan to weaken the opposition Arab population in his country. Meanwhile, Chad has been close to Israel since Debbie Itno's father, the late President Idris Debi Idno, established diplomatic relations with it in 2019. Debi and his close associates own Pegasus Logistic and Handling Dangerous Goods, which is used to secretly import military equipment from Israel to the UAE. Likewise, Debi's brother, Abdel Karim Idris Debi, an alumnus of the U.S. Military Academy at West Point, has worked in Tel Aviv and Abu Dhabi. Abdel Karim also worked with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and Mossad Chief Yossi Cohen to establish diplomatic ties between Chad and Israel. Kamel believes the West, the UAE, and Israel are interested in Sudan for its natural resources and strategic location. He also has made known that the United Nations Security Council has received evidence of the UAE shipping military equipment to the RSF in Sudan with the support of Israel and France, but that it has turned a blind eye to it.